What's up, people? How's it going? This is Emilio Lopez again with another episode of Throwdown Draws. This time, we're going to be doing a pre-recorded drawing session because right now I am doing a lot of projects and I can't show them to you on, on this show. So, uh, you know, when I had some free time late at night, almost, you know, a week ago, I recorded two sessions of Throwdown Draws for you. So this one is, uh, you know, this one's going to be a bit of a short one, and next week's going to be a monster three-hour one. So yeah, let's get started. What's up, people? How's it going? Uh, yeah, that's me. I'm live. Uh, you're going to probably see my pre-recording stuff start soon. So there you go. Oh, there it is. Yay. So yeah, feel free to ask any sort of questions. I have the chat open. And uh, yeah, let's uh, put on some music in the background. And get ourselves a nice copyright strike as per usual. <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, so yeah, keep uh, keep sending your messages and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining me. All right, let's see what we got here. What do we, what do we put on? Oh, uh, yeah. Let's see. Well, uh, let's put something on we have inside of my large amount of uh, music. So yeah, working on some some pretty interesting projects here. Again, I can't talk about it, but that's just the way it goes. Especially when you work in this in the industry that I do, there's so many things that you wanna, you know, you wanna as soon as you finish, you wanna be like, yo, it, ah, ah. but this is one of those situations where I can get in pretty big trouble about. But you know, that's how it goes. But I make these little things. For you just so that I don't miss you know the schedule because I really want to be here for you guys and you know show you what I'm up to you know so what's happening here is um, in this in this version of it uh, um, this is a drawing that I previously drew of that skull face guy earlier this year I did it based off of a kind of a blurry screenshot from one of the trailers of, for Death Stranding. So I decided, you know, for the hell of it, you know, it kind of, I wanted to update the design, you know, my, the one that I drew to kind of match the information that has come out pretty recently. So yeah, that's pretty much what this video is about. Uh, takes me about an hour to do it, but then again, it's, 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 it's not an extensive edit. But, you know, obviously I'm, you know, doing other things at the same time. So a lot of times I'll stop and start again. So yeah, hope you're enjoying it so far. You're gonna ask me, hey, when are you gonna stop doing these Death Stranding things and start drawing some other stuff? 
that'll um officially that's probably gonna happen pretty soon because i i've officially drawn all the characters from the game so i'm gonna start moving on to maybe i can get some stuff ready for anime nyc i don't know uh, if anything, I'll just have these these uh, Death Stranding like uh, things, cards, and maybe something else. Because uh, uh, time is just not here for me. Uh, I have a comic book that's due early next month. I have this uh, this this project that I can't talk about that I'm working on. So it's a lot of stuff that are kind of kind of jamming together all at once. They say the biggest, the best thing to do when you're, re when you're trying to introduce shows and all kinds of other things is that you're trying to, you really want to, <laughs> you might have heard some, vi some noises on that video. <laughs> Because apparently I was recording some audio on it as well. But that's all good. Hey, Jossie. Hey. I'm doing my streaming thing. Oh, I know. You can hear it by the way I talk, right? Well, well you're talking to yourself. I'm talking to myself. So, I mean, I know you're not talking to me, so... I go... You're streaming, so... You know? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I pre-recorded it. So that's all. Uh, it's so you just... have two videos up? Well, no. This one's a vid this right here is uh, is the video, like the video I recorded, and then right here, what you're seeing right now, that's actually just us, just me there live. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, all right. I see what you're doing. So yeah. So like now, you know, I can keep to schedule of this the schedule of this thing, but not worry about, you know, sh you know, I can't show anything. Oh, okay. Yeah, sounds fine. Mm hmm Hey, Nami. That came with um, some of the, the, the candies that Ruby gave gave me at, at New York Comic Con. Oh, how sweet. It was, um, it was like these, um, it was like these crackers and they came with these little nice, these fun, funky cards. Mm -hmm. That's, <laughs> she's, uh, she stopped giving me like Japanese candies. She giving me, she gave me a bunch of really good, you know, like healthy candies. She was telling me that she was a, she's a, a vegetarian. So, I'm sure a lot of those, those, um, I'm sure she's doing like organic stuff too, like you are. Well, I don't eat candy, really. Well, no, I mean, she's like, you know, I'm sure she's just eating organic stuff in general. Like organic, um... Yeah. Stuff like that. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I don't know. I'll buy, like, organic stuff, but as long as it's, like, fresh and local, I think that's good enough for me mm -hmm. at this point. Makes sense. As long as it's fresh and local. Fresh. I'm, I'm nosy. I'm just looking for your shit. So, um, today I got my, um, my thing for Anime NYC. The table. They gave me the table assignment. Okay. So it's all good now. What's the what's the date? Uh 
some uh, November 16th, I think. Okay. Let me look it up. So yeah, you guys may have heard me talking about it. So now I have my table assignment at Anime NYC. Um, Anime NYC is going to be the 16th through the 18th at the Jacob Javits Center. You can look at for my table at table F. Uh, let me look it up. You'll find me at table F12. So there you go. And I do wish that this thing kind of told me how far the video was, but eh, what can you do? I see three folks are watching. Good stuff. Thanks a lot for joining me. So yeah, pretty much what's going on here in this video is I'm just updating the design. Ooh. Also, you know, guys, let me know if you uh, want to see some of my color work that I've done, you know, that I do as well for uh, for comics. Um, uh, I can also, you know, pre-record some of that stuff for you. Granted, sometimes those things can be pretty involved and long, just like anything I do. So, yeah, just, you know, leave a, leave a comment in there. Uh, though, I do, here's the thing, though, I do like to keep our shows um, more video game related. So... So I might just do something video grain related, related instead, but uh, we'll see. You know, you know, we'll see what the we'll gauge what the interest is. You know, I'm pl still playing this sort of stuff by ear. Yeah, I still haven't decided as to what new things I want to have for NYC, anime NYC, and what things I'm capable of doing in the time frame that I that I have. Uh, again, projects get crazy here, and A lot of times I'm working on multiple things at once. You know, like, you know, I do wish that, like, you know, the sad thing about it is, like, not sad, but, like, the interesting thing about doing these sorts of things for work is just, like, sometimes you wish that they would come in f the time frames where you're, you're a little dry. Like, a few weeks ago, I was actually, there was nothing going on. I had finished my comic, I, you know, right before New York Comic Con, and there was just days of nothing and i wish that you know for this project that i'm working on that they'd have come in and said hey yeah we need you now but it never usually works that way hey we need you now you know we're ready to go blah 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 but it's like no it it really happened like you know pretty you know like this which I'm not annoyed by, but I don't know, I just, you know, never, nothing ever really goes according to plan. 
you know, especially as much as you here's here's a little inside baseball when it comes to uh, popular media. Nobody's ever on time. Most people are not on time, and most people don't work when you're do it when you when it's convenient. But they will pop something on you in the last minute and expect you to you know uh, pick up the slack to uh, you know. And I'm not I'm not bitter by that stuff, but I, I you know you would wish that there was especially working in it you'd wish that there was some sort of consistency between these sorts of things. You know, yeah, and then you know, then there's also a whole other list of other things that are just you know, just kind of annoying about it. It's like, you know, you tell you, okay, we need this done tomorrow, right? Okay, you need it done tomorrow, great. Um, and then when it comes time to get paid, everybody's like, oh yeah, we'll get to you. I'm like, guys, I did the job. Where's my money? <laughs> you know. I've had situations where it took months, even years, for the for these people to, to for some people to get to, to pay me for a project. It's like okay, so why are you hiring hiring me in the first place if you don't have it in your budget to um to you know to, to pay me for this project? Don't you know? Don't call me up and say, then all of a sudden say, oh yeah, we're running out of money. You know, I've had situations like. Or I've worked on projects where they literally, to try to save money, the studio would come in and be like, okay, we're hiring you. And then, um, you know, because there's not much other work for you to do, we're going to have to let you go and then rehire you in two months. It's like, okay, so how come you didn't get your, how come you didn't have your stuff together, guys? You know what are those things but you know especially when you're you know like when you're doing work for hire you're at the whim of the people that are doing these sorts of you know th that are that you're working for you know hey thanks for joining me So yeah, right, right now what I'm doing is I'm updating this uh, image. Um, he's got this crazy thing that I didn't notice from the previous, his crazy little, I don't know what they call it, that that little gadget that senses evil in the, or, you know, whatever in that world. So I'm uh, changing that up, re-inking the drawing, fixing up the color, and that'll be, and that's gonna, should take about an hour, and then, you know, that's about it. So, thanks for joining me. So, I had a project a while ago, and, you know, it was like uh, one of the requests on it was like, um, you know, from, from up from up above was like make it look more realistic right and I think in a lot of ways sometimes when you talk about realism and artwork it's a little bit subjective I mean yes granted you can do a whole or total photorealistic sort of illustration but there are also some styles that also kind of feel realistic or have more line art or whatever on them and that's, it's an interesting thing you know when people say that sort of stuff to you. It's like, you know, what is realistic to you? Is it line art or is it detail? What is it? You know? Yeah, just something I wanted to just talk about a little bit. Hey, five folks. Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome. Feel free to ask any questions if you if you have any on your mind.
Back down to three. <laughs> Guess I bored you for a sec. some cat Hmm. He's a he's a brown like me, but not like me. Vinny, you grab on to to put on the pole. What's up?
What's up, people? How's it going?
Sup, people? Sorry about that. I was uh, um, doing some other things on the other side here. But yeah, uh, so uh, good stuff. Yeah, I'm just doing uh, some reds and adding some little bits of detail. I'm probably adding a little bit of the his little gold fist things. His, um, I guess, fist guards, as we want to say. Excuse me. See how many of you are still watching. Yeah, it's the same three. How you doing? It's all good.
wish he wouldn't flinch because he saw what the body looked like. Hmm? Oh, I guess that means that, like, he did it. <laughs> he didn't. He did it. It's like when someone sees a, um, someone is being convicted of a murder and they're being interrogated and they're lying about it. And then the investigator is like, okay, you killed this person. I'm going to show you the autopsy photos. No, I don't want to see them. Mm -hmm. well, I'm speaking for, you know, the deceased. So I'm going to show them to you. Mm -hmm. And then he shows her the picture. And she's not flinching. She's not moving away. She's not mm -hmm. turning away. And it's like, I know why. It's because he already seen what the body looked like. Mm -hmm. Because he fucking killed him. Unless you're like... Unless you've seen, like, unless you work in the medical field or whatever, and you're used to seeing dead bodies, it's like, you like, oh, God, I don't want to see that. You know? Yeah. It's like, ugh, you know. My di I mean, I because told you. you don't know what, it, what to expect. You don't know what you're going to see, but, like, yeah. yeah, you know. I mean, the only difference is to say this person's been there for five days, and you'll see some decaying or whatever, but it's like, you know. If you don't, like, just, if you say, oh, I'm innocent, and, like, you just don't, it's just your reaction is not typical for someone who's really has nothing to do with it. Mm-hmm. Like, you know. I mean, the, the, the woman killed her boyfriend or whatever in the shower. So... And of course, the investigator is showing her, like, because she's taking pictures, you know, she's taking pictures before he died and then after, and then he's like, yeah, this is you, you know, you were in the photos before, and oh, you say you're not in the house, but what's all of this? And mm -hmm. all the timestamps is like, yeah, you know, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. so, and she's just lying throughout the entire thing. Like, you know, <laughs> just, just give it up. And even the interrogator, the interrogator is like, you know what? You lying, you all know it. Stop it. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Alrighty guys, that looks like it, we are done. I want to thank you for joining me for another episode of Throwdown Draws. Uh, and also, yeah. So don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to our, uh, to our channel here. As well as, don't forget that tomorrow is Throwdown. And we are giving away a copy of... Red Dead Redemption. So make sure you subscribe to us on, um, you know, you, you, you know, uh, you know, follow us here on on Twitch, as well as follow us on Twitter. Then what you do is you comment on the pinned tweet on our Twitter, which is at Throwdown Show. It should probably pull up the uh, splash screen here, which is at the uh, at Thro Throwdown Show. And uh, and make sure you just tell us what is your favorite uh, Rockstar game. Also, uh, I will be uh, also blah blah blah. So also just a couple of an announcement here. Uh, I'm going to be at Anime NYC uh, if you're in New York in the New York area at the 16th of November to the 18th. Uh, I'll be there drawing stuff to you know and all kinds of things. I'll be at Artist Alley Table F12. And also, again, make sure to watch Throwdown. Thanks a lot. Good night.